Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. First of all, again, I would like to, to thank you for this invitation and for the opportunity of being here. Um, as you have heard, uh, besides being uh, employed at the National Museum in Denmark, I'm also on the directory board of ICOMS to see. And um, the next 20, 25 minutes, I will talk a bit about this organization. I will talk about both the mother organization ICOM and our organization, ICOM CC, the International Council of Museum Conservation Committee. Well, with more than 30,000 members worldwide, ICOM is a unique professional network of institutions and museum professionals. ICOM brings together museum experts to discuss various museum-related themes. And the museum professionals that are members of ICOM, they consti constitute a distinguished network of knowledge. ICOM is among the five global organizations that are AB, able to quickly mobilize the, an expert network and to gather around various museum matters the most acclaimed specialists worldwide. ICOM has several missions and they are to work for society and its development, de to its development and to ensure the conservation and protection of cultural goods. That's why we're here. Also to set standards for museum in design, management and collection organization and to establish minimum standards for professionals, practices and achievements for museums and the employees. Also, ICOM has a code of ethics and that's a reference in the global museum community. It establishes the museum standards for professional practices and achievements for museums and the employees. And by joining ICOM, each member is committed to respecting the code. And this is the organization map showing the structure of the organization. As you can see, well, now it says, it says 28,000, but in fact, since uh, it's, it's more than 30,000 members, uh, with 2,000 museums, there are 117 national committees and 31 national, uh, international committees. And um, um, there are also five regional alliances. And these are the forums that are assigned to promote the dialogue and the sharing of information between the national committees, museums, and the museum professionals in a given region. And these are the 31 international committees that gather the experts on museum specialities. And these can be considered as global think tanks on museum and heritage matter. And there are chairpersons for each of these international committees, and they, um, are, uh, they gather in a, an advisory committee. And, um, and uh, there's also an ex executive council and a director general. And uh, for the moment, uh, we have uh, an, an elected representative at the executive board, and she represents the, uh, all, all these committees. And uh, her name is Sua Aksai, and she's from Istanbul. So you're part of the membership, a part of the organization at the top level. The international committees, these ones, they define the museum professional standards. They share scientific information. They establish and develop partnerships with other organizations. And they also conduct advanced research in the respective fields for the benefit of the entire museum community. And you see here, ICOM CC that I'm going to talk about. Well, ICOM has several, connected, takes several activities connected to, to specific programs, like it can carry out international missions. And uh, they do that together with uh, organizations like uh, UNESCO, Interpol, and World Customs Organization, the VCO. And the ICOM missions, they include fighting, for example, illicit traffic or cultural goods, which is really a huge problem around. Uh, it's about risk management and culture and knowledge promotion. Also, protection of tangible, ten, tangible and intangible heritage is part of those, uh, those programs. 
And here, so, yeah, uh, this is the, uh, the uh, current president of uh, ICOM, uh, Hans Martin Hinz, and he's head of the executive council. And this is Anne Catherine Rovero Gerstlin. Uh, she's the director general of uh, ICOM. And uh, she's head of the secretariat, uh, where 26 people are employed. And uh, the secretariat um, is situated in Paris. And they work to, to help all, uh, all the committees to, to work uh, in, uh, in the work, uh, in, in, the, in the organization. A general assembly and, and a, uh, the advisory committee meetings takes place every year so that the ICOM members and the heads of the organization can come together and make decisions concerning the organization's future. Now, to give you a brief inf introduction to ICOM CC, the International um, Committee for Conservation. It's really a global network for conservation. We have, um, uh, we have 2,200 individual members and this is the largest of the international committees of ICOM and it's the most important international professional organization of conservators. And members can participate in any, num any of ICOM CC specialist working groups. Okay, come on. Oh, I need to skip to this one, yes. Like you see here, we have 21 specialist working groups. Uh, as you see here, and, um, and the working groups, they are two types. First, there are the, the ones that are based on, on the class of objects or materials, like for example, glass, metals, paintings, stone, textiles, wet organic archaeological materials, that's where I used to be. And also, there is uh, uh, some uh, groups that relate to general interests, such as uh, for example, documentation, education and training in conservation, and preventive conservation. And for, for, uh, at this conference, we have, in fact, a current coordinator of the preventive group, uh, Boris Pretzel, and a previous coordinator of the, uh, of the preventive group, uh, David Thicket. So ICOM is indeed represented in, in this room. Um, I'll go back to the previous slide and talk about ICOM CC's mission, um, and that is indeed to promote the conservation of cultural heritage, also to further the goals in the conservation profession, and to provide a framework for interdisciplinarity in the co collaboration. And ICOM is represented by a directory board consisting of 10 members from around the world. We meet twice a year at different locations, and um, usually one, uh, one uh, location asso associated with where one, one of the members come from. So there's a quite, a, uh, quite a lot of traveling connected to being on the board. Um, we also have a secretariat, which is really crucial to administer the members, our archives, and the support of the board. And here are most of our board members uh, gathered in Paris uh, headquarters at a meeting. And this is the, the chair, Lisa Pelosi. And here's the mode of operation. Uh, we operate at, at the three-year cycle. And at the beginning of the triennium, the directory board outlines a strategic plan. Uh, then the working groups uh, and the working group members, they elect a coordinator. As I said, we have uh, previous and current coordinators here uh, in this room. And they establish a program for the three years to come. And also the coordinators, they engage the membership in specialist research and activities. And they, even, they also organize interim meetings and they can be really huge events. Uh, also, the working group, group reports their results at the, at the triennial conference. And the triennial conference represents the high point of the activity of the committee and its working groups. And by bringing together conservation professionals from all over the world, 
the Triennial Conference provides a global forum for the exchange of information on the field of conservation, because that is when the 21 working groups come together and present their work. It's, it's really a, a huge, uh, huge conference and a very, very good place to be uh, if you want to know what is going on in the conservation, field of conservation. The last conference was held in Lisbon in 2011, and you can see here the locations of some of the more recent triennial conferences. It really confirms that we is a global, uh, global organization. We've been to Rio, we've been to uh, The Hague, New Delhi, Edinburgh. Um, and also, uh, related to triennial conferences, there are the publications at the moment, we have 16 editions of the Triennial Conference preprints, and they contain more than 2,000 papers on conservation, and they are among the most respected publications in the field of conservation. And currently, ICOMCC is, in, is investigating in posting all the past Triennial Conference papers on our website. As I mentioned, all the working groups also organize specialist entry meeting. And this meeting is a specialist meeting that was organized last year in May here at the, at the university. Uh, Professor Ufo Kuchabas uh, hosted the, uh, the working group meeting for the Wet Organic Archaeological Materials Working Group. Uh, and it was a very successful conference indeed with 150 delegates from, all, from 30 countries. And when the working groups organize the interim meetings, they also make publications um, and, um, and uh, most of these, these papers are printed, as you see here. But recently, a number of them, for example, the upper ones here, they are also uh, now in digital versions and can, uh, can be downloaded from our, from our ICOMCC website. And this brings me to our website, which you can see here. And please take note of that. That's the address, icomcc.org. Um, and I, I really invite you to take a look at, uh, at the website and, and see what's going on. Here you can see, you can read about icomcc. You can read about the working groups. And here there are also lists of contacts to the different working groups. Uh, on this side you will also find information about the ICOMCC secretariat, um, about their partners and what can be downloaded. Um, and also here you can read about our conferences. And, uh, this brings me again to what, uh, talk a bit about what you can expect from attending one of the ICOMCC conferences. These are a few images from the last one in, in Lisbon, um, where a number of gen, uh, general assembly and plenary sessions frame a five-day conference and give an opportunity to access, no, to, to address the committee's business, as well as providing a venue for the invited speakers to address a conservation issues on global con uh, concern. And then the working group sessions are the venue of up to 150 presentations on specialist topics during five simultaneous, se five simultaneous sessions over the four full days. So it's a very, very busy week. Also, there are poster sessions uh, for one-to-one -one interactions between attendees here um, and, uh, and people who want to, to learn about different things in conservation. And all of the delegates may also, may also participate in visits to local conservation studios um, and other important sites, uh, cultural heritage sites. An important part of, uh, of the conference is the participant of delegates from develop, developing countries whose, um, whose travel is supported by the Getty Foundation and also some by uh, an, an ICOM Foundation. Uh, and in Lisbon, we had 34 delegates from 28 countries that uh, attended the conference in Lisbon on this program. The next conference will be in September in Melbourne, in Australia. 
from the 15th to the 19th of September 2014. Call for paper is over, but you can still sign up with the early bird fee. I think that it ends in early July. The theme of the conference is building strong culture through conservation. And currently we are finalizing uh, the exciting and very interesting program for the conference. And with respect to issues on preventive conservation, there will be 18 talks about this alone, in addition to all the other uh, sessions. And there will also be a similar number of, of, um, of posters uh, in Melbourne. So, I will invite you to become a member of ICOM. And the procedure is that you go, you contact your national ICOM committee, and then you select an international committee. And that's how you become part of the great international professional network in conservation. Uh, dear Christiani, thank you very much for your presentation as well as for your time management. Uh, I know that you have to catch your flight, but before you leave, I'd like to ask to the audience whether they have any questions uh, to you. Öncelikle sunum için çok teşekkür ederim. Burada bizimle olduğu için tekrar teşekkür ederim. Şöyle bir sorum olacak. İKOM içinde şöyle bir tartışma var mıdır? Yani. Hukuksal anlamda insan hakları mahkemesi var uluslararası ölçekte yaptırım gücü olan devletler düzeyinde. Yani dünyada e, kültürel mirasa yapılan bütün ülkelerde kültürel mirasa çeşitli saldırılar, çeşitli müdahaleler yapılıyor durumda. Acaba e, İKOM içinde ya da İKOM'un öncülüğünde dünyada herhangi bir kuruluşun kurulması söz konusu mudur? Bu anla yaptırım gücü olan bu anlamda bir anlaşma söz konusu mudur? Ya da böyle bir tartışma var mıdır diye sormak istedim. Uh, thank you for your questions. Um, we don't have we don't have any sanctions for that. But you know there are we have the programs on on uh, on the risk management and and where we work together with Blue Shield, for example. We have a very good uh, collaboration with Blue Shield to take actions when there are uh, goods that have been destroyed uh, going to war or to to um, um, environmental uh, problems. There are different uh, educational programs, uh, but uh, ICOM as an overall institution has the committee for uh, education, but also ICOM CC has its own on, on uh, conservation education. And, um, but there are no, in these, there are no, uh, to my knowledge, there, there are no specific educational programs on that. But I think what is being done is, is that uh, they have this collaboration with, for example, the Blue Shield and the UNESCO, with high, highly professional people who work. And, and I know that those that, that are working in, in these groups, they are very professional people, because it's not so easy to go into a field of conflict and, and do something. It has to be very, very controlled. It has to be safe. You, ha you need to be quite sure that those who, who start working in, in damaged fields, that they are, not, um, that they are secure. So it's, uh, it's, it's the, the discussions are really going on now on, on, uh, in, in many forums in ICOM and in, with the groups that, and organizations that we collaborate with.